this video, we're going to be demonstrating how to SSH into an AWS EC2 Linux instance. Now, there's a few prerequisites that you need to meet before going forward with this video. So the first is that you need to already have an EC2 instance in AWS. Secondly, you need to have configured an inbound SSH firewall rule to your instance. Third, you need to have saved the private key file, which is a .pim file uh, that you would have downloaded whenever you initially launched your instance. And four, you need to have an SSH client on your local machine that you'll be connecting from. So most Linux distributions have an SSH client already, but regardless of the operating system of the local host that you're using to SSH into your Linux instance with, you should be able to find a free SSH client from OpenSSH. So if you just Google OpenSSH and go to their website, you should be able to get a client that is suitable for this task. I've created videos for the first two prerequisites that I mentioned, so I have one on how to create an EC2 instance in AWS and also one for configuring firewall rules in AWS, and those are both posted on my channel within this AWS playlist, so be sure to check those out if you've not already completed those items. All right, so if you've already met all four of those prerequisites, then the first thing that we need to do now is log into our AWS console. So I am here on the home screen of the AWS console. If you're elsewhere, you can get back to the home screen by clicking on this cube up in the left-hand corner. I'm going to go to my EC2 instance. I have it under my recently visited services, but it's also here under the compute menu. All right, and then I'm going to go to my instance, and I'm just going to copy my public DNS IPv4. So you want to copy that whole string and then save it elsewhere because you're going to need it in just a moment whenever you actually connect to your instance using SSH. All right, now that's all we're going to need from the console. Okay, now I have a bash terminal opened on a local Windows machine. And you can use bash or you can use whatever type of command line interface that you'd like to use that is going to be compatible with the SSH client that you're using. Right now I am CD'd into this key pair folder that I created and if I look at what's inside, I see that I have this web server keypair.pim. So whenever you initially launch your EC2 instance, AWS tells you to download the key pair and it comes in the form of a .pim file. So you want to save that and make sure that you can access it later. So you just want to change directory into the location that you save this pim file because you need it in order to connect to your instance. And then we want to check it just to make sure that the private key file isn't publicly viewable. So we can do that by running chmod 400 and then passing in our pim file. And what that does is it specifies that only the root user can read that file. All right, next, now we're actually going to SSH into our instance. So we do that by running the SSH command dash I and then passing in our PIM file. And now I'm going to paste in my public DNS address. So this is going to be in the format of user at public DNS address. So I paste that in and you can see that I'm using user at and then my public DNS address. This is going to be the address that we copied from the AWS console at the beginning of this video. All right, and now I am SSH into my Linux instance running in AWS. Now, the first time that you do this, you will get a prompt that asks if you're sure that you want to trust this machine that you're connecting to, and so you need to accept that. So just to demonstrate that I'm here, if I say ls, for instance, it's going to show me the file structure. So that's all there is to it for connecting to a Linux instance running in AWS via SSH. Now, a couple of commands back, I had to specify user at public DNS in order to connect to my instance. The user that I used to connect was Ubuntu. Now, I pulled this information off of Amazon's site, so if you're wondering what user you should use to connect to your instance, I've taken notes here. I'll just bring this up. We've got all of these different types of Linux images. So for Amazon Linux, the username is EC2 user. For RHEL, it's either EC2 user or root. For Ubuntu, it's Ubuntu or root. CentOS is CentOS, Fedora, EC2 user, SUS is EC2 user or root. So try those depending on what type of Linux distribution you're running. 
All right, now that completes this topic for how to SSH into your Linux instance running on AWS. In the next video, we're going to be showing how to copy files from a local machine to your Linux instance in AWS. So be sure to stay tuned for that. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, suggest, and comment. Thanks for watching.